So today I am going to be talking about the two shows that I went to the Vamps, the Four Corners Tour 2019. <laughs> I went to Leicester, which is on Monday the 20th of May. And then I went to London, which was Saturday the 25th of May. And yes, they were in the same week. <laughs> and I'm doing this video because I feel bad that I didn't vlog any of it. I was going to vlog London, um, but... I just, London for me is really hard to vlog, I don't know why, I feel like because it's so big and I felt a lot of, a lot more pressure of people around me because I was vlogging. I didn't vlog it, although I did film a lot on my phone, like Instagram, Snapchat, um, I have a Instagram highlight called Gigs and that's got most of the videos that I filmed on Instagram on there. So, that's also that. And I'll insert some little videos that I have on my phone throughout this video of them on stage. Because it was good. I'm going to talk about Leicester. Katie came to my house. And then um, we drove to De Montfort Hall. That's where, where it was. I really like that venue. I don't go there enough. But it was actually really good. I'm just trying to find the photo that I'm going to talk about. We... I think doors opened at half six and we got there about 20 past six I would say or maybe later than that my mum parked at the back of the place so we'd have to walk around so we got out the car and started walking up like round we would have walked through the car park but like you know didn't want to get run over <laughs> So um, we walked round and then there was like a big massive gate, so there was like the tour bus there and we carried on walking and I looked up and I was like, there's Blake and Reese from New Hope Club. George wasn't there, I feel like George was in the um, tour bus but um, I was literally like, oh my god there's Blake and Reese," and I turned like really fangirly because I haven't met New Hope Club since... Summer of City 2016. We walked around the corner and saw Blake and Reese from New Hope Club. I'll insert the photo of me, Katie, and those two here. Um, they were really lovely. Blake was like, oh, can we turn around so we can get the good light in? I'm really happy they stopped. They didn't have to stop, but I'm happy that they did. And then we walked around the front to the entrance and like went in got our tickets because they didn't post them. <laughs> our seats were really close. I'll put in a clip of New Hope Club, New Hope Club probably, or like, I'll oh, put in a clip of the Vamps and New Hope Club. Treat yourself. You can see like how close we actually were. I was very happy with the seats that I chose. We were like right at the front of the balcony. I'll insert some more clips of them singing next and then we'll move on to London. London, that was Saturday the 25th of May. That was really good. I'm actually surprised that me and my friend, my other friend, um, got to London. I'm really proud of ourselves that we made it all the way to London. We also had a little stop to the Science Museum on the Saturday, the 25th, before the show. And then we got to North Greenwich, where um, the O2 is. We stayed in the O2 Continental, Continental, is that what it was called? I think it was, um, which is literally like maybe five minutes down the road from the O2, it was really close, it was extremely posh, I felt like I needed to walk back out because I was not dressed smart enough for that, like there was like bellboys and things like that, it was weird. <laughs> It's like, I shouldn't be here. A little room tour, so I'll put it in here. It's <laughs> the view. The Thames is over there. <laughs> if 
people are climbing. Watch them. But we have to walk like all the way around to get to the front, but it's it's fine. This is the bed. So welcome Stephanie Kerman. It's the bar that we won't touch anything of because it might cost a fortune. <laughs> No. This is the bathroom. Got a massive shower. Toilet. Massive mirror. Sink. Got the bath. And yeah. You can like change the. You can like turn that off and then it has like a night mode where it just turns on that. Which is kind of cool. But yeah, we're on the 11th floor, room, what are we, room? 1139 maybe? Yeah, 1139. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of light and lights. <laughs> We've got uh, an ironing board, an iron. We've got a shoe shiner thing, oh and laundry. So yeah, that's the room. <laughs> I actually filmed that for my mum. Um, I was gonna vlog that day, but I know, Lon I got to London, I no, I got to the hotel room, and I was like, I've only filmed two things today, and would already been to the science museum, but I didn't, th I didn't think that um, I could film in the science museum, because everyone was very serious. So I didn't want to like ruin their vibe <laughs> and be like, hey, here's the moon. Because <laughs> I don't think people would appreciate that. But you know, that was really fun. Um, yeah, we got to our hotel. Our view was amazing. We were room 1139 on um, floor 11. <laughs> it was pretty high. But our view, as you saw from that video, it was of the O2 and then a bit of the Thames on the, on the left hand side <laughs> I was like and then you could see like the little cable carts that um, you would go on if you went to the XL and the O2 was great like that show I've been to the O2 many of many times well I say many times maybe about three times um, I've seen Shawn Mendes there and I could have possibly seen the vamps there but I'm not sure. I think I went I went there to go see JLS um, for their goodbye tour. Um, I know I went to see, obviously I went to see Shawn Mendes. Oh okay, so maybe this was my third year going to um, the O2. So I did JLS, Shawn Mendes, now the vamps. Um, it was a bit of a mission to try and figure out where we had to go because all of my friends that I met there, like throughout the O2, because there were so many people, it was good, lovely to see you all. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen most of those people in ages, so it was nice to catch up with them. Um, we were going to go to Nando's, but that was full. And everybody else's um, tickets said what entrance they should go in. Ours didn't, so that was fun. Um, but we ended up just going in the normal entrance. If you've been in the O2 before, there's literally, if you walk in and walk straight, there's a the O2 arena entrance at the front. So we just went in there. And then we found our, we our, our block was literally like a little walk to the left. And then it was block 101, which is quite near the stage. I'll put a map up and circle where it is. We were row M, which was really good as well. This was when Harvey was here. Harvey Campwell is talented, can I just say. Like, I've seen Harvey many times, and I've met him a few times. He's l the loveliest person you'll ever meet, honestly. Um, and I met him in the pouring rain, like, well done, thank you for staying. <laughs> um, and yeah, Harvey, he just has such good bops. Like, even though his voice was like, he was ill, and he was like, oh, my voice isn't that great. And I'm like, when I'm ill, my voice sounds like a dying cat. <laughs> like, well done to him. Like, he pushed through that. That was really good.
Like their choreography, like, well done. <laughs> And then obviously New Hope Club, we had George on our side, which is good because the last time in Leicester, we had Reese because we were like on the right hand side, but now we were on the left. So I got like all of them kind of. <laughs> George was so cute. He looked like he was loving his life. <laughs> and we did like the New Hope Club. <laughs> Um, cause last time I was, me and Katie said club. If you don't know what we're on about, I'll insert the Leicester one. Don't have the London one, I didn't film it. <laughs> if you saw that, <laughs> you might be able to see me and Katie at the end <laughs> going like, club! <laughs> um, so that was really fun. And then the ramps came on, cause it'd be weird if they didn't. <laughs> that was really good. They sung amazing. I actually knew some of the words now, thankfully, because I obviously went to the Leicester one and then throughout that like few days that I had, I listened to some more of their songs so I could like sing along to more of them. I knew like most of them, but some of them I didn't know. <laughs> We then, after the show, we went back to our hotel. We checked out of our hotel, we could have checked out so much later, but I was paranoid that I was going to forget to check out, so I checked out early. And we wandered, went to Starbucks got a drink then we went to Tesco to get some breakfast and then we walked back to the hotel and there was so many people waiting outside like so many because the vamps were staying in that hotel as well as New Hope Club I think um so we were like oh might as well just wait um with everybody so that's what we did and soon enough everybody formed a line it was really cool like very organised, like well done to people there. I wish there was more organisation like that because every single person there, if they wanted a photo, got a photo. Soon enough James came, he was lovely. <laughs> um, he was really nice, he wore his sunglasses, he looked really cool, he was like... <laughs> it was really funny. It made me laugh because in my friend's photo, he went to like peace, but he went like that instead, like three fingers. And he was like, why did they just do three? That's weird. It was just like a little thing like that. It was funny that you will like remember. Maybe an hour and a bit later, maybe less, maybe more, Brad came out. Brad is so small, like short. I had to like have a photo with him like as I was like... I lent a little, um, but he was lovely, he's so nice, they, they all are, I'm so grateful for the fact that they actually took their time out of their day to meet everybody there, like, I respect them for that so much, like, more celebrities should be like that. <laughs> that was the first time I've ever met James and Brad, and... They were so lovely. So yeah, that was my weekend and the Leicester show. Hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Give big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Then there's a hole between for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful just.